It's been a while since I've been here. Oh, it's Douglas. Hello. Hello, Douglas. How are you? Uh, I'm so well, thank you. So, um, how are you all doing? It's, doing I've met, I, I think I've met most of you on the colonies at this point. Yes. So, uh, yes. But anyway, so how is it going down here? I know you need a report on the colonies and all that. The colonies are going fine and everybody's visiting and doing telepathic things. And uh, uh, the, one, the one area that's not so busy right now is um, the fourth, the channeling one. A lot of people are learning to do that in other ways, but we are still teaching the channeling in four, but it is very important that you do it the right way. So, um, is there any questions? Um, yes, I have um, a few questions from uh, Slava. Of um, course, very good. So, Slava, how are you? Let's see if you can answer them. He said about eight months ago he asked for Pleiadian Yayar Lirin and Syrian infusion. He wants to know if it's done. There are some of it that's done. Let me check the books here, or the, the machine, whatever you want to call it. Uh, the, he has the uh, Lirin is done and the Syrian is done. Uh, they are starting the year yell. Well, actually, it's about four percent in, uh, and the other is not started yet. Um, and then but he has two of them completed. The year the is at four percent. The uh, Lyran is six percent, and the Syrian was eight percent, which is very high. Okay. Um, all right. So he is getting the Syrian. He did get the Syrian, yes. Okay. Um, the other question he had is about, uh, he said that there was a hybrid child that he thinks it was born recently. That is his? Yes. Yes, he has another doctor. He has two doctors now. Um, um, the first doctor is absolutely amazing as he already can see her and the second daughter is just recently born within the last uh, three weeks okay um, he wants to know when they were born do you do you know the the date uh, the date uh, you see they don't do time things here so uh, <laughs> it would be on the uh, um, it would be in uh, the first one was in uh, September, I believe. It looks like perhaps the chart is around September or October. And then the, this recent one was, of course, January. About the middle. Oh, oh, not quite. But just before the middle. Maybe the, the around the 10th. Okay. He also wants to know if they have already named them. Or no, he, to well, they do have, have names for them, yes. But he has the names for them, so... We already know that he wants to name them, so we will let him do that. Okay. Okay. Um, well, I have you here. I know. Was Was mine born yet? This is Sabrina. It will be born shortly. Okay. Thank you. But like I said, they don't go by days. Uh, I can. Yes, and and Takur is very good at interpreting what months and things that things are in, because she knows how to translate it easily. But I I don't really get involved with that too much, so I don't know how to do that as easily. Continue. I'm still here. Okay. okay. I'll allow others to go now because I know there are some other questions. I know Caroline has a question, but I will check on that. Oh, Caroline, Liney, yes. All right. Hey there. Yes, so. Sean? You're a very popular no. one, you know. Yes. The question, and then, the, and then Stephen. Oh, I thought it was Liney. Go ahead. Who's next? 
Sean? Sure. Uh, hello, Douglas. Uh, I sent hello. My question is, can you give a numerical value of how many people's actually gone to the Connollys? Like, I know well, what the group is, yes. but I want a numerical value, please. Yes. There's been about 280 people that's come to the colony. Um, 322 were asked to go, but some refused. So there you have it. And uh, but it's, the number is growing because there's more people coming to Human Colony, and more people are going to go. That is why one of the reasons why a lot of people aren't going as often as they used to go because we have a larger number to deal with and um, we have to get them all in there and help them all out and but there are a few regulars of course there's about 15 of you that go a lot because you are you're you're helping us and also some of you are teachers such as L is a teacher and so forth and so on and Sabrina you're in the council so you're helpful in that way and Rowie of course and uh, Kim is up there a lot, quite a bit. So, um, just a few people that um, really go a lot for different reasons, for for uh, because they have uh, reasons to be there. And Liney, you're there quite a bit. And um, sure, just the, recently, um, you came a couple times, but for different reasons than you might think. Not for tele telepathy. They wanted to actually. Uh, interrogate you about maybe being a teacher of some sort. So that might be something that you might be doing in the future. And uh, let's see, who else? Gabriel, you're up there. You were up there quite a lot, and now you're not there as much because you've you've done uh, you've done a lot. And uh, but you are a trainer every now and then when they need one for a telepathy class. So. Um, Let's see, who else is there? Oh, Safira's there a lot recently because she's, um, well, she had a lot of questions, and so therefore she was in the tele telepathy class, she was in class uh, Colony 2, and she was also in Colony 5 because she's a singer, and um, she sings very well, so they let her entertain up there on the point. So um, yes, just just to give you a few things. So, oh, and Rawi, you're always there doing entertaining as well. So, um, thank you, Yes. Have I ever been there? Uh, Sandy, you have been there. Yes, and Sean, you have been there as well. So, uh, more in the past than in the present because uh, they need to get some new people in there. But you'll be going again for sure. Well, whoever I want to know, I know. I know. Oh, we call you the shiny one. You're the shiny one. Whenever they talk about the shiny one, it's always you because your spirit is very shiny. I'm not sure why, but it's very shiny. Which is good. Um, hello, Douglas. Hello, how are you? This is Noha. Tell me about myself. You haven't mentioned my name. Am I, I can I tell you there? that you have been there. Oh, Noha, you have been there. And when you run around, you, when you're up there, you're you're so talkative. You talk to oh. everyone. Um, oh, oh, yes. You're very talkative. It's because it seems like you're sort of lonely on Earth. So I think that you love the companionship up there. So, um... <laughs> Um, and also, uh, you bring you bring these creative thought patterns with you about how to make clothing and things of that nature. So, uh, so you bring your clothing designs with you, and you also have on the colonies have created a style for a couple of the aliens that really yeah. liked what, what you okay. were okay. doing. So yes. Um, I can do them too if you want. <laughs> so it was, it was very good that you did that. It was wonderful. What about my telepathy and my channeling? Yeah. Oh, yes. Yeah. You've actually been in the channeling class a couple times, and you're doing much better. Yes. It hasn't opened up. I think up. that you will be channeling eventually on Earth quite, not, not a couple years maybe at the most. 
in a couple years, I'll be back. I'll be back. You'll be channeling in a couple years at the most. I think oh, maybe in, even a little before then. But we'll see how you develop and how you're moving along. So we'll see. Okay. But, 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 I have those children because I was asking for two more. Do you have hybrid children? Is that the question? Yeah, because I was asking for two more hybrid children. Oh, wife. okay. I will, I will pass that along. I will pass that yeah. along. That you want more no, hybrid right. children. Yes. Right. Okay. Very good. All right. Everything. Thanks a lot. Oh, you're so welcome, Noah. Noah. Thank you. Thank yes. You. And thank you for all the things you bring up. Yes. And um, I didn't mention all the names. I could mention uh, 10 or 12 more names of people that go there very often or, or have something to do that's important there. But it would take just too much time, and we have more questions. So. Hello, very good. Douglas. Ah, Gabriel, how are you? I did not understand did not what you understand said about me. about me. Oh, that you've gone to the colonies and you were a leader a couple times, but you're also the jokester that comes up. Um, you tell a lot of jokes, you're very happy-go-lucky, um, and other things. But anyway, yes, you're very, very, very much... Uh, calm, cool, and collected when you're there, and you tell a lot of jokes, and do a lot of ribbing. Yeah, I I, I don't know I about, don't the know about the telepathy. I don't see telepathy on, on Earth. You are, you are very telepathic in fourth dimension, believe me. But you see, you're not around the right people on Earth to feel that you're tele telepathic. So I, I can understand that because um, you're not around the right people. But um, if you were, you would be able to tell. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Thank you so much. Yes. You're welcome. Uh, just to quickly interrupt here a second before Stephen asks his question. Um, yes. Could the guys on Jim's end just turn his volume down a tiny bit? Getting a little bit of an echo. Is what? It's, we didn't uh, quite get that. Echoing and feeding back a bit. Back a bit. Volume. Okay. <laughs> If someone could assist How's that? Me. Is that better? Is that better? Yes, one, two. Yes, one, two. Yes, what happened is she brought up the speakers and set it on the couch. Ah, that would be why. Right. 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 Yes, so now it's now back on the floor. Thank you. Thank you. Not a problem. Hello. Thank you, Stephen. Thank you. Know. She just needs one. All right, Susan. Steven oh, is what next. Does she need me to... Hello, John. Go ahead. Who's next? Yes. Yeah. Hello, how are you? I'm fine. How are you? I'm doing good. Uh, I guess I have the same question. Uh, have I been to the uh, colonies recently? And, uh, oh, Steve, yes. Yeah. Yes, you have. Definitely. You've been there a couple times, actually, recently, and there was a reason for that. Uh, you needed some training on the uh, the Stargate that's nearby you, and uh, and also about the uh, vortex that's north of you. So um, the, both things are um, were being trained to you about. You understand? Yeah, I kind of remember yeah, some of them. Uh, kind of like doing some tasks and stuff. Running around. Yeah. There. Um, also, uh, I have I have a kid. I just wonder, having haven't had time to get any information with my hybrid kid, and just how old is he, and uh, when I could actually talk or meet with him or communicate. Okay. Let me check on that for you, Steve. Hold on. Hey, right, thank you. Thank you. And hello, everyone. Did you name your child? It'll be easier to find if you give me a name. Yes, Stephen, as my name, Stephen. Oh, okay. Well, that'll be easy to find. Hold on. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Um, yes, he is uh, six months old. Six months old. Okay. Is that? And he's doing very well. Very well. Quite a bright child. Very, very, very much like. Uh, you very a lot of questions and a little bit cocky for a six-month-old, but 
doing very well. Okay, thank you. You're welcome. Um, you said you remembered some of the things that uh, about the training for the Stargate. Well, uh, I had a couple of vivid dreams uh, here recently about uh, like going into a house and then uh, going to like a mountain type thing and uh, messing with some type of device. Ah, uh, yes. And uh, and then and returning and then uh, and then kept moving around and stuff, uh, something like that. Okay, very good. I'm glad you remembered. All righty then. I can't tell you any more. If you remembered quite a bit, that's good. You bring, you will remember more later. So, okay. well, that's good. Bravo. He's okay. next. Um, Bravo. Carol, Caroline asked if Frazier was already born. I, I'm having a hard time hearing. Caroline, uh, you like that's better. Know? I, I, I suppose it's one of her babies, Frasia, if it was already born. One moment, please. What's the name? Frasia. F-R-E-J-A. Oh, that is nice. I like that. Not quite yet, no, but soon, very soon. Okay. Not quite yet. What and Liney, you're so popular to, on the on the colonies. Everyone loves it when you're there. And Laura, you and Laura, it's always very nice to have you together. You you make a good team. <laughs> um, also, Zenaida, can you check to see if Urs was born? I think it was a lyric. Zenaida, do you have a name for us? Uh, I don't have the name. Um, Zenaida, just a moment. I don't see that one as being born as well. Not yet. It's not in the books yet. Okay. okay. Thank you. Very um, good. Sharon and then Brian. Sharon. Hello, Douglas. <laughs> Hello. How are you? Your mother is not with you today. She's she's about she's in another room. All right. <laughs> um, um, I wanted to ask about uh, crafts I've been seeing. What? <laughs> I wanted to ask about crafts I've been seeing. Um, what did, what have you seen? Here? What Pardon have you me? seen? Um, I've seen some fly over my head. I've seen some. Uh, no, they're out in the distance, like in the sunrise and in the sunset. Are they orbs? No, they're they're more uh, um, like plates. Are they flat? Yes. One moment. Are they triangular or are they are circular? They're flat, circular, like discs. Do they have Do they have any dimension other than flatness, or they do. do they? Or do they have a, a raise? Are they raised in the center? They are raised in the center slightly, and yes. okay. uh, they are white in appearance. Ah, very good. That gives me much more. There's so many ships around the Earth right now. Yeah. I have to get a good description, or else I cannot give you who it is. But that is one moment. Yeah. Of course, another species that we haven't heard of. Yes. The Terosians. That we just learned about them, and yes, the the Terosians are now around the Earth as well, and they are raised. Their ships are round, but not completely round. They sort of pull out a little bit. They're round-ish, ovalish more, and they they're uh, they pull out in the middle. Is that what it was? More ovalish, not round. Was it or was uh, yeah. it round? I, uh, kind of ovalish, yeah. Um, okay, and that I felt like they were <laughs> kind of winking at me, like they would dissipate and then blink in the sky. But yes. I, anyway, um, uh, the Terosians are from 
uh, a, gal a different galaxy than this. Of course, you're at the edge of a galaxy. So the galaxy that you're closest to on that edge, it, it is spinning, but you've gotten closer to them because of the spinning of the galaxy. Does that make sense? Yeah. yeah. So, um, yes. Yeah, so they are able to uh, get to you much quicker. So they And plus they know what's happening because of all the news that spread out from the galaxies about Earth and the rising. You are actually a big, a big news topic because you were starting your ascension. So there's many new species coming to visit. We're not really quite happy about that because let me tell you it's hard to control a lot of new species coming to look at you. You know, we don't know if you're going to they're going to be involved. We don't know if they're just neutral. We don't know if they're bad. Um, so with so many arriving at at so many times, um, times is a bad word, but um, it's it is hard to keep them apart and keep track of them even because some of them go to Mars some of them are going to the to the moon where they're not really welcome but others are going to uh, Venus or or close to Venus you know they go all over and they're just watching from a distance but some just like to take and come right in right in and Zoom right over your head and whatever, because they're they're not knowing that you haven't had first contact yet. So <laughs> anyway, but we let them know as soon as possible. Do not land on the Earth, or do not make yourself visible. Otherwise, you may get shot down. But at this point, there's so many they wouldn't know where to shoot. So, uh, and they wouldn't want to start anything at this point. So, um. If that answers your question. Yeah, thank you so much. <laughs> You're welcome. And yes, you have been to the the uh, the colonies as well. Yes. Thank and you, you thank have you. been into the telepathic and actually channeling class. You went to one of the channeling classes. So that's good. Thank you. Thank you. But you've been there for like four times, five times. Quite a. In, and they've been. Fairly recent, fairly recent, December and January, yes. So, very good. Uh, Robert O'Brien. Uh, hello. 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 How, like how are you? Know, I'm fine. I'd like to know what am I doing in the colonies and what am I like in the colonies? Oh. You're you're actually sort of a flirt with the female aliens, but otherwise than that, you have a lot of chums. You have those that really uh, really understand what you're up, all about in some ways. Not on Earth so much, but in the colonies, they really understand uh, what you're all about, and you're you're very interesting. You're a very interesting person, and to talk to you, you would you have a lot of knowledge. You seem to be a, someone that's constantly learning. So that's it's very nice. It's a very beautiful thing. Does that describe you very well? Yes. You said I flirt with the females. Yes. No matter what they look like, because you're getting used to a new thought pattern I think you would like to be as social and cultural with the females as possible you want to know their culture as well as their personalities and how they act with you and your interactions so you're actually studying cultures and the, the male species find that actually very interesting Did that answer your question? Uh, yes. Oh, one more. What are the yeah. chances that I'll have a physical interaction with a female alien on Earth? Will you have one? I was asking. You've had a physical react. You've had physical interactions on the colonies. 
at least a couple times that I am aware of, at least that's the rumor, but um, on Earth you have not had any contact of that nature yet, but I'm sure that will happen after first contact. But you have been active on the colonies with a couple different alien ladies. All right. Did is there a question there somewhere? No. I mean, did you feel that you did have interaction with an alien on Earth? No. No. Oh, I thought maybe you felt that you did. But no, you haven't. All right. Who is next? Brian. Brian, how are you? Greetings, Douglas. I think this is my uh, first time coming through and talking to you. Yes, we talk on the colonies, but we haven't talked here. No. So. Uh, my my question, dear friend, is um, uh, what is my connection? With, with Kirk Nier, Kirk Nier, or with you guys on the colonies, what am I exactly am I doing exactly in the dream time? For us. Um, you already are a very well-spoken individual, so your statesman-like qualities with the aliens has been very impressive. So you have been helping us in a semi-ambassadorship with some of the Yu-Yil that are coming to the ship, the new Yu Yil and yes. the new uh, Pleiadians, because we are changing out some of the um, we're changing out some of the uh, people, sending them back, getting them a rest, and bringing some fresh bodies on board. Of course, these do will not leave, but um, and Tukur the and the the main ones are going to stay, but. Uh, we're uh, we're getting some fresh uh, blood into the ships, and you are actually one of the greeters, uh, ambassadors to them, letting them know what's going on. You've been uh, around the ship. You're one of the few that has been in several corridors of the ship, different areas of the ship, and you are uh, showing them where they have to go and what they have to do. Why is it that I feel like I've been doing this for many years on this earth now? I, I I don't know why you feel like you've been do you do you feel like you've been doing that very thing for many years? I just I feel like I've been on so many ships that I just there's just so much. Well, yes, not on, yes, you have been on other ships. There's no question about it. Uh, the information that you carry with you to the colonies it definitely tells us that you've been on other ships. There's no question. And but that is why one of the things is that. You're very, very good with people, and and you're very good with alien species. For some reason, you know protocol very well, yes. and um, one of the best that we have. So that's how we use you. I um I wanted to thank you, Douglas, and for the people that are allowing this this transfer to take place from Earth to the colonies. Thank you. I wanted to thank them and to the governments. Thank you. Thank you. I just wish you would remember it like I do. I think there's something different. We've been I, doing this for a very long time. And I, so I, after I, a while, I, I just start to remember. Yes, right? I, can, I cannot go into the details because of, you know, certain protocols. Well, I know but, why I remember. They don't replace the last thought because I know what, what's going right. on. Right. Oh. But um, I, I wanted to say thank, thank you, Douglas, for everything that you do for the colonies. And... Um, I that is one of my my goals here on the planet is to be an ambassador to many other races. Thank you. And you are, you actually you very much are. So that is a wonderful thing. Thank you very much. Much love. Much love. And I'm glad you remember some of it. Much love to you as well. Fine chap you are. Yes. Hello. Angela, it's next. Hello, Angela. Um, hi, Doug. How are you? I am very good. How are you? Good. Um, my question is, um, like, what do I do up on the colony? You're you're in the telepathy class, and also in the channeling class. But um, every now and then, you've been in uh, Colony Five a couple times to be entertained. You like the different entertainments that you find there because you. 
you're, uh, you like comedy, you like music, you like dancing, you like many things. So um, you really enjoy the uh, Colony 5 entertainment. And when, so when you go there, between your classes, you end up going to Colony 5 just so that you can uh, relax and enter, be entertained for a little while. I do like, like to be entertained. Of course. So, um, um, yes, but you are doing telepathy and you are doing channeling when you do the classes. Um, do I, I... I know that I oh, asked for a high um, That's coming along. That's coming along. It's coming along nicely. Just a moment. That's just something recent that happened with you. They just, within the last couple months, took your DNA. So you're not far along, but you will have a child by next year. Or by the end of next okay. year. By, by the end of this year, maybe. So that will okay. be good for you. Yes, okay. Yes. Excellent. Um, the other... The other question I have is, when we were talking to Elohim, I was not able to ask a question, but um, I'm, I suffer from uh, migraine headaches, and I, I suffer from headaches all the time, and they just seem to be, I seem to have headaches all the time, and I'm wondering if it's because that I've been touching into fourth dimensional. Is that possible? It's very possible. I will have to... Uh do a scan or something to find out. I don't know if they can scan fourth dimensional energy in humans yet, but I'll find out. Because if, what would happen, this is what would happen, is it would show that it's moving through the body, from the brain. Do you understand? Yes. So, because once it's activated, it starts moving about the body. But not right away. It's a slow movement. It is simulates in, but it's still too fast for some humans because it gives them headaches, back aches, neck aches, and things of that nature. But it's a slow movement, but still if they are not accepting it in their body por portion, it can be painful. So just relax and accept it. And just say, I, oh, it must be a fourth dimensional pain, so it doesn't really exist as as much as I think it does, so. <laughs> well, okay. That's all I have. Thank you much, love. Sarah? Much love to you as well. Hello, Douglas. Hello. Who am I speaking to you? It's Sarah. How are you? Hello, Sarah. Oh, I've, I spoke to you last time you were on the, on the colonies, yes. When was that? It was in... I'm sorry, I missed it. I'm sorry, I missed it. That's all right. We've had a nice chat, but that's okay. Maybe it was early, um, perhaps it was early January. You were telling me about how your channeling was going on Earth, and it was interesting. I, you have some very interesting channels. Oh, I do. Yeah. Yes, you channeled one for me. It was a, a snake creature of some sort. It was very interesting. <laughs> Yes, um, I have a couple of questions. One I want to ask about the children, my children. Oh, yes. We talked about those, too. Your children are doing very well. Um, yes, I think Liney said they had dreads, too. They had what? Dreadlocks, like dreads. Oh, yes. It's inter that, that is something that they chose for themselves. There is oh. style and fashion in outer space as well. It's not like... Um, Everyone's plain, their clothing are plain. Like I said, Noha designed clothes for um, a couple of different aliens. So. Mm -hmm. I just wanted to confirm that. Yes, that is correct. Okay, and I have another question. Yes. Recently in my dreams, I feel like I'm living a whole nother life as if it's progressing like it does every day here. And I'm meeting different people from different civilizations. Let me check something for you. You might be in a, a dimensional shift. You might be doing a, on the line of a dimension and living one life in your dreams and one life in your reality. That has happened a couple, 
more than a couple times actually. But um, let me check that for you. If we weren't aware of that, this is the first time that you've said anything about your second life in your dream state. Do you do you get a good night's sleep? Sometimes I do and sometimes I don't. Like, but I'm. I felt I like I've been like in three different planets so far. And one of them, I went somewhere, and there was some ruins with bones, and there was an alien that looked all skeletal, and um, it it was some speculation that there may be a Stargate there. Um, all right. Well, I, I can't think of that planet right at the moment. However, let me check and see if you're on a dimensional line where you are living and because there are some places where the vortex actually are dimensional entrances, do you understand that? Mm -hmm. um, and if you live on it, and if you sleep on it, it's very possible to have interactions with other dimensions while you are sleeping because you're right on it in your bed. So, um, and then during the day you're not quite, you're not in your bed every day, so just at the night time, but let's see. Interesting. It, it appears to be a vortex, but it doesn't appear to be dimensional. However, that doesn't mean it isn't. But it does not appear, it's just an energy vortex that you're on, but perhaps your fourth dimensional energy is opening up uh, some other things while you're sleeping. So I think that's where it is. It's just a vortex, but your fourth dimensional energy is strong, so it opens up uh, dimensional things while you're sleeping. That would be my guess. Because I was watching this video, um, there's this guy uh, by the name of, I believe it's Andrew Bartseats. Bart and he calls himself the Galactic, the Galactic Historian. And he was talking about uh, soul codes. And when I heard the description of it, I began crying. Okay. What were they called? Soul codes. Andrew Barton. Is that the name of the species? Soul codes. Oh, soul codes. Yes, I was going to say, I've never heard of the soul code species. Um, Soul codes. Oh, yes. There are soul codes. No question about that. And I began crying when I heard about it. As yes. It is that I provided one for a species. Yes. There are soul codes, and I would not doubt one bit if you are, if you are traveling to different dimensions because of your fourth dimensional energy, I would not be surprised that you would be able to do that because you are on a vortex and perhaps it's meant to be that way mm. okay thank you for that Sounds you're delicious. welcome hello Douglas uh, I have a question uh, a few, many webinars back uh, ago um, I heard that people are doing videos of aliens like interviewing them for false contact so they can play uh, the videos. I'm just curious to know how many errors I can record it now compared to back then. How many errors? Errors. Oh. How long? How long? How long? Like, uh, hours. hours. Yeah. The hours are in the hundreds of thousands because there's more than one person doing filming at the same time. So they they can film for, they can have three different films going on at the same time all day long. So it's, they've done much. And they have actually, out of all that filming, have taken about six hours and put it on the internet. So there is about six hours worth of their videos on the internet at this time, but we cannot tell you where they are because as soon as we would tell you that, the government would take them off. So you must look diligently, and I will, I, when I'm talking, I will give a couple clues. But I, 
hopefully they won't be deciphered. Um, but anyway, yes, there are about six hours worth of videos from the colonies on YouTube. Now, saying that, it sounds like a lot, but there's like a million hours of videos on YouTube. So in, in the the video world, there's millions and millions of hours because people are posting videos constantly and continuously. So uh, to find them might not be as easy as you might think, but um, if you um, are diligent, um, they are not American videos. Not none of the sources speak English. And at this time, and how many hours uh, have there been that when false contact happens, they're going to be transmitted? How many hours? Oh. contact and many made for it, it what what has happened is this uh, they got into making videos for first contact to send for before first contact you understand so that people would be aware about that but then as they were thinking about that they also decided that they will need a series of videos for after first contact to explain exactly in series what's going on how things are going to develop and uh, the organization that they had for first contact that they're not taking over but they will be released in an organizational pattern so that people will be calmed day after day but learn more day after day so there is 14 days worth of videos afterwards. So your television screens or our television screens, well we wouldn't say. Well we we will be watching alien things every day on television. Now you don't have to watch them. They are there they are not forcing you to watch them, but there will be a channel that will be specifically for instructions of what is happening and knowledge of what is happening and it will be running 24 hours a day for at least a month. Thank you. You're welcome. Hello Douglas. Hello. Douglas. Hello. It's uh, Shiro. 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 Can, Shiro. I, can I ask uh, questions from other people first and then you can go? Okay. All right. Um, the questions and answers is sometimes we forget to look at them. Um, this Marco da Costa, um, he wants to know how many times did he go to the colonies and how am I there? And if he's, if, he's, if how come One he's two. Okay? He's been to colony one and two. One for uh, telepathic and two for exercise. He's either in a, he's there for exercise. Yeah, because he's wondering how come he can't channel the channel there. Oh, oh, the channeling classes will be coming for him. He will don't worry about that. Um, channeling comes when it's supposed to come. If there's no need for it at the moment, don't worry about it. Um, We'll talk about that later, I guess. Okay. But not everybody will channel. Even though everybody has the ability to channel, not everyone will. But I think maybe he might, yes. But not quite yet. Um, let's see. There was somebody. Oh, uh, Nisa. Who? Nisa. Nisa. Um, Lisa wanted to know it's if I believe I don't know if it's a she or he um, if he's been to the uh, the the colonies and have been to the channeling class yet. Yes, 
Nisa has been to a channeling class and to a telepathic class. Um, her whole altitude changes when she comes to the colonies. I must tell her this. Um, she's so much more relaxed and calm in the colonies. On Earth, she tends to be very stressed out and a little dark, seemingly gloomy. But on the colonies, you are so fresh and peaceful. It's, it's really quite amazing, the transformation. So, yes. We love you very much, actually. Yes. You are one of those ones that attract a lot of people. What, people want to talk to you. Okay. You look good business. But you're, it's, <laughs> I, I won't go into that now. Okay, sure. Wanted to ask a question. Yes, sure. Hello, Douglas. Hello. Um, before, you have mentioned me something about uh, the human colonies want to give me a job or something that... They are looking for you to be an instructor, perhaps. They like the fact that you question things, that you do not just accept things but question things and want proof about things. And so they're thinking that that's the kind of person that they want to um, do a, a different kind of class with. But they'll be talking to you about that even more in the future. Okay, so I'm not sure that you will be teaching it yet, but they are looking into it, yes. Okay, so they will contact me somehow. Yes. If, okay. if they want you to teach the class, you will be teaching it. You would love it. It will resonate with you very highly. <laughs> <laughs> okay, and then um, one more it, thing. It, we'll I can tell you this. It's about hybridization programs because you seem to understand them in a way that not very many people do. I'm not sure what that is, but that's what I've been told. Yes. When you come I, to the colony, you understand the hybridization program very well, even the DNA parts. So um, I'm not sure. Do, does that make sense to you? Actually, yes. And I want to ask you if there's any news about the new fusions, fusions that I ask for. Yeah. Uh, yes. Uh, there is. Uh, which one has just started? Is it the Octorian that you're getting more of? Hmm. They're giving you more Octorian. It's going up to 10%. And hmm. that has started, yes. Do you, is that what you needed to know? Uh, yes, and the Syrian fusion was approved, maybe? Yes, yes. But it's not started yet until the Octorian has been completed. How much time does it take for each one of the processes? It depends on the individual. It depends on the individual. Each individual is different. They check and make sure that at the speed that it's going in is assimilated into your body correctly. And sometimes, if it's assimilated quickly, they can do more hybridization quicker. However, if it takes a long time to assimilate, then it takes a, a while for it to get into your system. Okay. Thank you very, very much. You're very welcome. Um, Caitlin or Jasmina, do you have questions? Yes, I have a question. Hello. Hello, Hello Jasmine. How I wanted to ask you what am, what am I like at the colonies? You like to, um, let me put it this way, you are very light-hearted and you like to um, talk about uh, things like movies and you like to talk about your favorite actors and actresses and um, you actually thought that it would be a good idea to start something on the colonies uh, in the entertainment area with plays and theater. Yes, I can see that. Yes, and so they're looking into that and if they do, they're going to ask you to be um, one of their uh, 
the people that assists them with that. Is that okay? I'm, I mean, of I'm course, just hearing yeah, about this. Yeah. Uh, but, um, <laughs> yes, and they know that you are already a good actress or actor or whatever you want to call it, and that your your heart is very pure with that. It resonates very highly with you. So uh, they're going to use you as someone that will help them in these areas. But you do... Uh, I mean telepathic class and you were and you went to telepathic class several times and you went to channeling class once and you actually went to colony 2 for exercise at least once or twice yes, yes. Um, what about uh, could, would that, could I be able to channel here not yet they will let you, uh, well, you're in the channeling class and you will channel eventually. But there are other things that you are working on first that are more important. Okay, that's you fine. Must, you're working on uh, a, a basis for your life right now, are you not? Yes, so, I am. Yes, so that is what has to be first. Um, okay, thank okay. you. Hi, Anne. Have a wonderful day. You're, you're so pleasant. Have a good Thank day. you. Uh, I also, Hayan had a question. If uh, about, about continue, the yes. Hayan, hello. Um, he's asking about his hybrid daughter. What about her? She's doing very well. She's um, speaking two languages right now, and that is very impressive for her age. Yes. What else does he want to know? Um, can you tell something about her? What she? What is she like? She is very interested in learning. She's a, a very interested learner. And that's how she is learning two different languages. She can speak two different languages, I should say. She's learning her main language, but she's also learning another language. She's also very mathematical, but that goes along with uh, learning languages, I think. I'm not sure. Maybe. Um, but very, very smart. One of our bright ones. Definitely a genius. Okay, beautiful. beautiful. Thank, Thank you. you. You're welcome. Hello, I must Douglas. go now, though. They're calling me away. Who? But uh, is there another question? Yes. Um, this is Caitlin, and I had a question about um, if hybridization. Am I hybridized with anything? Uh, let me check. Did you ask for anything? Uh, I think yes. not really. No, I didn't think. No, you're not. Um, <laughs> Um, you're not hybridized, but if you wanted to be, you could be. There's a there's a bit of the alien in you from your descendants and things, but nothing major. No, like uh, 0.8%, 0.3%, .3%, things of that nature. But if you wanted some uh, hybridization, that would be uh, something you would ask for. And if you want to ask for it now, I could pass it along. Uh, I think Liren would be nice. I know I have elemental DNA for sure, but I, I, I've never... I can't hear you. Sorry. I said I just knew that you would ask for Liren because you're an animal lover and you love the elementals and all things of Earth. I knew that you would ask for the Liren and it would be a perfect fit for you, I believe. But they'll get back to you on that one. Okay, but thank you. But I think you. you'll get that one for sure. Yes, you, you mm -hmm. love the elementals, you love animals, you, you're just so in tune with third dimensional earth in many ways, but also other aliens and things, so you're, you're quite special. Mm -hmm. But yes, Liren would be perfect for you, perfect. Thank you, Liren. yes. You're and and one last question, one last I, question. I've been drawing a lot, been drawing a lot. and yes. I'm not sure if it's... Uh, automatic writing because it honestly feels like the entity is kind of coming through and doing it for me. I've drawn I've drawn uh, hybrid children. I kind of speculate that they would be in the Gurkha or something. Um, 
But yeah, I'm kind of curious about that. Is that automatic writing? Yes, it is a form. There's there's several different forms of automatic writing. There's the form where you're not looking or whatever. There's a form where it feels like you're being controlled. There's a form where you're actually looking at the paper but not sure what you're writing or not sure what you're doing or what the next movement will be. So yes, it's a form of automatic writing, yes. Yes, um, but what really gets me is like they, they literally write their signature for me. Um, it's as if they just, I let them do that. And uh, so yeah, they just give their names afterwards. It's really interesting. But the children is what I find really interesting because they're so unique in the way they look. So I'm kind of curious about them. Is there anything you could give to me, um, like any information on them? Well, one of the children, what color are they? Tell me what colors they are. are they um, one is aquatic. He is like a, a tealish blue color. Um, the other one, I suspect, is like a Yael hybrid. She has really long fingers. Yeah. The, um, the first one, the aquatic, it's a long, young lady. It's a male. Or is it a male? I think it's a male. It looks like a boy. All right. Like a boy. All right. I let, I, could you show it to us? Uh, I, I think if I don't think I can right now. I don't really All right. have my camera working. Um, but yeah. what, uh, the thing is, I'd have to sort of see it to know. I really, I really can't look into the through. I can't do that. But um. I'd have to see the pictures. If you'd post them online or do something of that nature, then I would be able to tell you. But the aquatic one, I know of that species. Um, they're actually in your solar system, but not around Earth. They're the ones that have the 26-mile-long ship out by Jupiter. Uh -huh. And uh, it's filled with liquid in most rooms. And um, it's very interesting. And they are they are just observing now, and they have been observing for probably eight to ten months now, at least, maybe longer. We just noticed them. I mean, we don't really look for them, really. But we did notice them about eight. Uh, they're telling me 12 months ago. Oh, it's been more than that. It's been 12 months. So, yeah, they've been out there quite a while just looking. Uh, yeah, yeah. I, I posted I, I them posted online. online. It just, uh, it just uh, I can't ah, I'll have to look. Right now. Yes. Yeah. All right. <laughs> uh, wonderful. I'll take a look at them. They're on my uh, was, Google Plus. Uh, they have profile. not. They have not really connected with Gurfagnir. We have sent them several messages, but they have not sent anything back to us. However, they are interacting with people on Earth. We know that. So, you are one of them. Yes. Ah, but, uh, I see. To work for me, I'm I'm sort of surprised, but not really. They're 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 not interested in an alliance, and we're not really asking them to be in the alliance. But we just want to say hello and see what they're up to. So, but no re no response so far. So, <laughs> well, I thought that they were actually in the in the colonies because I remember I don't know if it's to Kerr or Lakesh mentioning that there was people that they were looking for people to interact with children. On the in the colonies that were hybridized that, that were hybrids, <laughs> hybrids. and I thought that that, I was that's the full that's the, the what the beings look like that's not a hybrid um, I'm I'm quite sure that they're not in the, any hybridization program however um, the young one the yu yil one most likely with the long fingers is a hybrid yes. I see. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you You're so welcome. Much. Not a problem. <laughs> well, thank you, Douglas, thank you, for, Douglas coming. for coming. Yes, I got to go now. Yes. Actually, I've I've overstayed my welcome of course, in some ways, so I must go. <laughs> Always welcome. But um, have a great day, Johnny. Good. And, thank, um, you. thank you. Thank you for coming and answering and all that questions. stuff. You know. Yes. Thank you. We love you. Much love, and um, and I'm actually it's actually lovely here in the colonies more lately than usual. I'm not sure why. Perhaps I'm 
becoming fourth dimensional in my 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 heart. So <laughs> in my heart. <laughs> but um, I will talk to you later. M much love. Much love. Namaste. 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 Namaste.